Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you how we can measure precise distances and angles inside of GIMP. So the tool for measuring distances and angles inside of GIMP is called the Measure Tool. You'll find it on the top right hand corner of the tool window. So we can left click it there, but alternatively you can hit Shift M on your keyboard to switch to the tool. So how the Measure Tool works is that we left click and then we drag to a second point in order to create a line. And that line will measure a distance by default in pixels, as that's what we generally work with in GIMP. And it will also measure an angle between the starting and ending points. So first off, for measuring distances, if we want to measure a height or a width, then it's a good idea to hold control down while we click the lines, because that'll make it really easy to snap to a zero or 90 degree interval. So in order to measure precise horizontal or vertical distances, it's a good idea to hold control down when you're creating your line because when you hold control down, GIMP will automatically snap the angle to 15 degree increments, which will make it really easy to get 0, 90 or 180 degrees and so on to show up. Uh, so that will mean if I want to create a perfectly vertical line, it's going to be very easy. So I'm going to left click here. So while we're dragging this line out to the second point, I'm holding control down so that it can snap very easily to zero degrees here. So now we know that this line is perfectly straight up. So all we're going to need to do now to measure the uh, diameter of the circle is to zoom in and make sure that this first point is placed directly on the top pixel. So you can see there's a lot of areas with the top pixel here. So I can just left click on this point, drag it down one pixel, and that's going to give us a perfect height starting point. And now we go down here to the bottom and we want to move this one point down because you can see that on the edges there, um, there's still one more pixel that needs to be accounted for. So by doing that, we can measure a perfect height of 370 pixels. Now, if we needed to adjust these two points because they weren't quite at the high point or the low point, we could simply zoom in here, drag this over here to the right, which you can see will create an angle, which is what we don't want. Um, but then we go up to the top point and while holding control down, we can just move it again and you'll see that it will once again snap to zero degrees. You can see that at the very bottom where we'll say 370 pixels, zero degree angle. That's how we know that it's a perfectly straight line. So to do the same thing with a horizontal measurement, I can come over here, find the leftmost point, left click, and then zoom out with middle mouse wheel, scroll all the way over to the right hand side. And while holding control, we just let go over here at the final pixel over here. And you can see a measurement of 370 pixels, uh, which shows us that this is a perfect circle because the horizontal measurement and the vertical measurement are exactly the same at 370 pixels. But you could probably tell that just by looking at it. Okay, so let's talk about measuring an angle now. So the trick to getting a good angle measurement with the measurement tool is going to be to zoom in and to make sure that you're following along the edges. So for instance, if I zoom in here on the green part of this Chrome logo, then I'll be able to really easily pick out uh, one of these top pixels, so left clicking, and then I can just drag it down here to another point, which is on the edge of the screen space. And that should give us a good measurement for the angle uh, between the starting point and over here. So you can see it's measuring it at a 29.98 degree angle. So we can tell that that was probably meant to be a 30 degree angle. Um, but just because of measuring so few pixels, it's uh, off by a small fraction. If we wanted to double check, we could measure again by left clicking up there at that top right pixel. Maybe we go a little bit further here. So I'll drag it down to here. We can see depending on the pixel that it may be off by a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that approximately gives us a 30 degree angle. So let's take one more angle measurement here. Uh, I'll measure between about here and over here. Keep in mind the slope. So depending on where you stop your measurement, it's gonna give you slightly different results, but I'm gonna try to only do this uh, long part where there is no curving. So uh, let's see here, a measurement from, this pixel seems a little bit more accurate. And we'll go up here and we get a angle measurement of about 28.61 degrees. 
So one thing I want to point out about these angles though is that they are direction independent. So you can see here it creates the angle, the starting point being here going to the right and it measures up here. But if I measure from this pixel down to that starting point, we get exactly the same angle measurement even though the directions are reversed on these angles. One was looking to the right and the other was looking to the left. So you will never really see it measured in terms of a full 360 degree circle where the direction actually matters. So that's the basics of how you can do measuring of angles and distances inside of GIMP using the measure tool. Long story short, use control to snap to certain angle degrees, 15 degree increments by default and zoom in a lot so that when you click to select your starting and end points that you get a pixel precise answer. So that's going to be it for this skimp video. Thanks for watching. I've been Chris and I'll see you guys in my future video content.